Hi everyone! Today I am going to teach you how to paint and decorate your own pot and then how to plant a plant in your pot and how to take care of it. Um, the SEL skills that we will be working on today are decision making and self-management. Um, because you are going to be responsible for taking care of your plant, for deciding how you want to decorate your pot, and for also um, picking a plant that you think works for you, like if you have a lot of windows in your house, a, a plant that likes sunlight would be better, and if you have not many windows in your house or not a lot of light, a plant that does not like sunlight would be better. So those are those decision-making and self-management skills. Um, I'm going to do an icebreaker. So since we're doing plants and planting, I thought it would be fun for everyone to go around and say what their favorite flower is. My favorite flower is called a coxcomb um, or a celosia. It is like a velvet touch, and they grow locally here in Kalamazoo. Um, I'm going to ask you to pause the video for a little while so everyone can go around and say what their favorite flowers are. The materials that you will need for today's project are a pot. You can get these at Meyer, Target, Walmart, any stores like that for usually around a dollar. Um, some paint brushes for painting. Paint. I like to use acrylic apple barrel paint. You can get this pretty cheap at Walmart. And then a plant. Um, also, cup for water. And then some sort of paper plate or thing that you can put your paint on. So we're gonna get started. Okay, now that you've gathered your materials, you're gonna put your paint out on your plate or whatever you decided to use for your pot. So I'm using purple and green. You don't need a lot of paint, just a little bit does the trick. And then you're just gonna paint, pick a design. I pick, I'm picking stripes because I like stripes, but you could do polka dots, squiggles, anything you want. You're just gonna take your paintbrush just paint right on there. So now I invite you to paint your pot with me. I try to go for more of a wispy look to match the leaves of this plant. So if your pot is now finished and dry, you're going to take some potting mix. I got miracle Grow. You're just going to scoop some with your hands into your pot. You want to make sure that you do this outside because it is very messy. So you're just going to fill it about three quarters of the way up. And then you are going to take your plant and remove it from the pot that it's in. So you're going to want to be very gentle. You're going to grab the dirt, not the leaves or the stems of the plant. And you're going to kind of like pull the plant out with the dirt. The, keeping the dirt is important. You don't have to keep all of it, but do you see these little like roots? Those are the roots of the plant. So you want to make sure that you're keeping those intact. So then you are going to take your plant and you're going to put it in the pot. And this one is kind of falling a bit. That's okay. We're going to pat it down. 
We're going to make sure that they're standing up nice and straight. Pack them down. And then when you have the plant to about where you want it, you're going to fill it with more dirt until it's nicely compacted to about the top. little bit more and voila you have planted your plant next I will go over how to properly take care of the plant you're going to water your soil and get it moist so that the plant has some water you gently turn on the faucet and just a little bit of water just to dampen the soil don't make sure not to over water the soil so the last step to taking care of your plant is to make sure that you look up um, the plant that you have and the kind of care that it needs so for example the one that I've been showing you guys today um, that one is called a wandering dude and it needs kind of moistened soil, but you're not supposed to overwater it. And it does well in sunlight. And what's also cool about this plant is when this gets really long, you can just cut it off, part of it, and you can just take the part that you cut off and re-stick it into the soil and it'll keep growing. So, um, with each plant that you do take care of, you are going to need to make sure that you know exactly what the plant needs because it's like, it's a living thing like we are, you know? We need water to survive and we need light. So make sure that you are taking good care of your plant and it should work out for you really well. Um, for the reflection today, I think it would be cool for you all to share your plants with each other or if you're at home virtually, maybe you can share with a parent or um, a caregiver. And I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys did too. And I'll see you again soon for another art therapy video.